Part 1. Jesse's New Beginning Hello, my name is Jesse. I am a student from Italy. I have come to London to learn English. London is a big city. It is full of history and beautiful places. I am excited to be here. I want to share my story with you. It is a sunny day in summer. The sun shines brightly in the sky. The air is warm. It is a perfect day. I am on a train going through London. The train moves fast. It makes a loud noise as it goes. I look out of the window. I see tall buildings and green parks. London is very beautiful. On the train, there are two men sitting opposite me. They are talking to each other. They speak in English. I listen to them. I try to understand what they are saying. I know some English words, but it is hard to understand everything. I am still learning. I am a beginner. I think to myself, I want to speak English well. I look at the men. I want to talk to them. I am a little scared, but I want to try. I take a deep breath. I smile at the men. I say, hello, my name is Jesse. My voice is a little quiet, but the men hear me. They stop talking and look at me. They smile back. Hello, Jesse, one of the men says. I feel happy. I am speaking English. I want to tell them more about me. I say, I am from Italy. The men nod. They understand me. This makes me feel good. I try to think of more words to say. It is hard. I only know simple English. The men are very nice. They speak slowly for me. They use easy words. I start to understand more of what they are saying. We talk a little about London. We talk about the weather. It is a nice conversation. I am learning. Soon, the train stops at a station. This is where I get off. I stand up. I say goodbye to the men. Goodbye, Jesse. They say, I leave the train. I feel proud of myself. I spoke English today. I walk through the streets of London. There are so many people. They all speak English. I listen to them as I walk. I try to understand the words. I am learning new words all the time. I am going to my English school. I will learn more English there. My teacher is very good. She helps me a lot. I am excited to learn more. I want to speak English very well. As I walk, I think about my adventure in London. I am here to learn English. It is a big challenge, but I am ready. I will work hard. I will learn new words every day. I am happy to be here. London is a wonderful city. There are so many things to see and do. I will explore the city. I will practice my English every day. I know it will be a great adventure. This is just the beginning of my story. There's so much more to come. I will meet new friends. I will learn many things. I am excited for what the future holds. Part two, Jesse's first day of English classes. The next morning, I wake up early. The sun is shining through my window. I feel excited and a little nervous. Today is my first day of English classes. I have been waiting for this day since I arrived in London. I get ready quickly. I wear my favorite blue jeans and a white t-shirt. 
I want to make a good impression. I eat breakfast. I have toast and tea. It is a simple breakfast, but it is good. I leave my apartment. I walk to the English school. The school is not far from where I live. I walk fast. I do not want to be late. I arrive at the school. The school is a big building. It has many windows. There are flowers outside. The school looks nice. I go inside. The inside of the school is bright and clean. There are many classrooms. I see other students. They are talking and laughing. They seem happy. I feel a little less nervous. I go to my classroom. The classroom is large. There are many desks and chairs. There is a big whiteboard at the front of the room. There are posters on the walls. The posters have pictures and English words. I look at the posters. I learn new words. My teacher comes into the room. Her name is Miss Brown. She is tall and has curly hair. She smiles at us. She looks friendly. Good morning, everyone, she says. Her voice is clear and kind. We all say, good morning, Miss Brown. We speak in English. It is good practice. Miss Brown tells us about the class. She says we will learn many things. We will learn new words. We will practice speaking and listening. We will read and write in English. I listen carefully. I want to learn everything. We start the lesson. Miss Brown teaches us about greetings. Greetings are ways to say hello and goodbye. We practice saying, hello, how are you? And I'm fine, thank you. We say these phrases to each other. It is fun. We laugh when we make mistakes, but it is okay. We are learning. After greetings, we learn about numbers. Miss Brown writes numbers on the whiteboard. She says each number. We repeat after her. One, two, three, we say. We go all the way to 20. I feel proud. I am learning English. The morning goes by quickly. We learn a lot. Miss Brown is a good teacher. She helps us when we make mistakes. She is patient. It is time for lunch. We all go to the cafeteria. The cafeteria is big. There are many tables and chairs. There's a lot of food. I see sandwiches, salads, and fruits. I choose a chicken sandwich and an apple. I pay for my food. I say, thank you to the lady at the counter. She smiles. I am using my English. I find a table. I sit with some of my classmates. We eat our lunch. We try to talk in English. It is hard, but we help each other. We laugh a lot. I make new friends. Their names are Anna and Marco. Anna is from Spain. Marco is from Brazil. We are all here to learn English. After lunch, we have more lessons. We learn about colors. Miss Brown shows us cards with different colors. Red, blue, yellow, we say. We learn the names of all the colors. It is interesting. The day ends. I am tired, but happy. I learned so much. I say goodbye to Miss Brown and my new friends. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, I say. I feel good. I spoke English today. I walk home. I think about my day. I am happy to be learning English. I know it will be hard, but 
but I am ready. I will work hard. I will learn more every day. I am excited for what comes next. This is just the beginning of my journey. I have so much more to learn, but I am not afraid. I am in London. I am learning English. I am living my dream. Part three, Jesse explores London. On Saturday, I do not have English class. I decide to explore London. London is a big city. There are many things to see. I am excited to see famous places. I also want to practice my English. I make a plan. I will visit Buckingham Palace first. Then I will go to the London Eye. It is a big wheel. You can see all of London from the top. It sounds amazing. I take a bus to Buckingham Palace. The bus is red. It is a famous London bus. I sit at the top. I can see the streets and buildings. It is fun. I arrive at Buckingham Palace. It is very big. It is where the queen lives. There are many tourists. They take photos. I take photos too. I hear people speaking English. I listen to them. I learn new words. I see a group of tourists with a guide. The guide speaks English. He talks about the palace. He talks about the history. I join the group. I listen carefully. I understand some words. I am happy. I am learning. After Buckingham Palace, I go to the London Eye. I walk there. The streets of London are busy. There are people from all over the world. I hear many languages, but I try to listen to English. I arrive at the London Eye. It is very big. It is next to the river. The river is called the Thames. It is a famous river in London. I buy a ticket for the London Eye. I say, one ticket please, in English. The lady understands me. I feel proud. I am using my English. I get on the London Eye. It moves slowly. It goes up and up. I can see all of London. I see the river, the bridges, and the buildings. It is beautiful. I take many photos. On the London Eye, I meet a family. They are from Australia. They speak English. We talk a little. I tell them I am learning English. They are nice. They speak slowly for me. I understand more. The ride on the London Eye ends. I say goodbye to the family. Goodbye. Nice to meet you, I say. They say goodbye too. I feel happy. I made new friends. I spoke English. I am hungry. I find a small cafe. It is near the London Eye. I go inside. I look at the menu. I decide to order a sandwich and tea. I go to the counter. I say, I would like a chicken sandwich and tea, please. The person at the counter smiles. They give me my food. I say, thank you. I am using my English. I sit and eat my sandwich. It is delicious. The tea is good too. I think about my day. I saw famous places. I practiced my English. I am learning and exploring. After my meal, I decide to go home. I am tired, but happy. I walk to the bus stop. I take the bus home. I look out the window. I see the city. London is beautiful. I get home. I am very tired, but I am also very happy. I had a great day. I explored London. I practiced my English. 
I can't wait for my next adventure. This is just one of my days in London. There are many more to come. I will see more places. I will learn more English. I am excited for what the future holds. Part four, Jesse joins a community event. One sunny morning, I see a poster. The poster is in a shop window. It talks about a community event. The event is in a park in London. There will be music, games, and food. It sounds fun. I decide to go. I want to meet new people. I want to practice my English. I arrive at the park. The park is full of people. There are families, children, and dogs. Everyone seems happy. I hear music. I smell food. I feel excited. I walk around the park. I see different stalls. Some stalls sell food. Some stalls have games. There are also stalls for art and crafts. I see a stall for face painting. Children are getting their faces painted. They look like animals and superheroes. It is very colorful. I hear people speaking English. I try to listen. I want to understand. I hear a lady talking about her stall. She sells handmade jewelry. The jewelry is beautiful. I go to her stall. I look at the necklaces and bracelets. The lady sees me. She smiles. Hello, she says. Do you like anything? She speaks slowly. I understand her. I feel happy. I look at a bracelet. It has blue and green beads. It is very pretty. I say, I like this one. How much is it? I speak in English. I am a little nervous, but I want to try. The lady tells me the price. I understand her. I decide to buy the bracelet. I give her the money. She gives me the bracelet. I say, thank you. She says, you're welcome. Enjoy the event. I walk more. I see a game stall. The game is to throw rings over bottles. If you get a ring over a bottle, you win a prize. It looks fun. I decide to try. I go to the game stall. I say, I want to try this game. The man at the stall gives me some rings. I throw the rings. It is hard. But on my last try, I get a ring over a bottle. I win. The man gives me a small stuffed animal. It is a teddy bear. It is cute. I say, thank you. I am happy. I won a prize. I spoke English. I feel more confident. I talk to more people. I ask them about the food. I ask them about the games. I listen to their stories. Everyone is friendly. They speak slowly for me. I understand more and more. I spend the whole day at the event. I listen to music. I eat some food. I try different games. I talk to many people. I practice my English a lot. As the day ends, I feel tired, but very happy. I met new friends. I learned new words. I practiced speaking English. It was a great day. I go home. I think about the day. I learned that speaking English is not just in the classroom. It is everywhere. It is in the park, at the stalls, and with new friends. I am excited for more adventures. I want to learn more. I want to speak better. I know I will. Every day is a chance to learn. Every day is a chance to speak English. This day at the community event was special. It was more than just fun. It was a day of learning. 
it was a day of growing. I will remember this day. I look forward to more days like this. Part 5. Jesse joins an English speaking club. A few weeks after the community event, I hear about an English speaking club. This club meets every week. People from different countries come together. They all want to improve their English. I think this is a great opportunity for me. I decide to join the club. The first meeting is on a Thursday evening. The club meets in a small cafe in the city. The cafe is cozy and welcoming. There are books on shelves and paintings on the walls. It feels like a good place to learn. I am nervous as I walk to the cafe. I worry about speaking English with strangers. But I remind myself that everyone is there to learn, just like me. I arrive at the cafe. I see a group of people sitting around a large table. They are talking and laughing. They seem friendly. I take a deep breath and walk over to them. A woman sees me and smiles. She stands up and comes over to me. Hello, she says. Are you here for the English speaking club? Her voice is warm and welcoming. Yes, I am, I reply. My voice shakes a little, but I am proud of myself for answering. Great, I'm Anna. I organize the club meetings. Come, join us, she says, and leads me to the table. Everyone greets me with smiles and hellos. I feel a bit more relaxed. Anna introduces me to the group. She tells them my name and where I'm from. I wave and say, Hi, I'm Jesse. Nice to meet you all. They all nod and smile. Some of them introduce themselves, too. There are people from France, Brazil, Japan, and many other countries. It's like a small world in one room. The club meeting starts. Anna suggests a topic for the evening. The topic is favorite places in London. One by one, people start talking about their favorite places and why they like them. They talk about parks, museums, and historic sites. Some speak fluently, while others search for words. But everyone listens patiently. When it's my turn, I feel my heart beating fast. But I remember what I want to say. I talk about the London Eye, the view from the top, and how beautiful London looks. I make some mistakes, but people nod and smile. They encourage me. I feel a sense of achievement. After the discussion, we play some English language games. We play a game where we have to describe a word without saying it, and others have to guess the word. It's challenging, but fun. I laugh a lot. I also learn new words. As the meeting ends, I feel happy and proud. I spoke English with many people. I understood a lot. I also made some friends. Anna says, You did great, Jesse. We're happy you joined us. I thank Anna and the others. I say goodbye and promise to come back next week. As I walk home, I think about the meeting. I realize that speaking English is not just about knowing the words. It's about connecting with people, sharing stories, and learning from each other. 
I look forward to the next meeting. I know it will be another chance to improve my English. But more than that, it's a chance to be part of a community, to laugh, and to grow together. This experience at the English Speaking Club is an important part of my journey. It shows me that learning can happen anywhere, not just in a classroom. And every conversation, every new word, and every new friend brings me closer to my goal of speaking English fluently. Part 6. Jesse Experiences a Cultural Festival A month after joining the English Speaking Club, I learn about a cultural festival happening in London. The festival celebrates the diverse cultures that make up this vibrant city. There will be music, dance, food, and workshops from all around the world. I mark the date on my calendar. I am excited to experience this event. On the day of the festival, the weather is perfect. The sun is shining, and there's a gentle breeze. I take the bus to the festival location, which is in a large park in the heart of London. As I approach, I can hear music and see colorful decorations. The park is transformed into a global village. There are stalls representing different countries. Each stall has its unique decoration, music, and aroma. I feel like I am traveling the world just by walking through the park. My first stop is at a stall representing Italy, my home country. The stall is decorated with Italian flags, and there's a small replica of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. They are serving traditional Italian foods like pizza, pasta, and gelato. Speaking Italian with the people at the stall feels comforting, but I remind myself that today's goal is to practice English. Next, I visit a stall representing India. The colors are vibrant, and the smell of spices is enticing. A friendly woman, dressed in a beautiful sari, greets me. Welcome, she says in English, with a warm smile. I greet her back and ask about the different dishes on display. She explains each dish to me, and I carefully listen, picking up new words like biryani and samosa. I decide to try a samosa, and it's delicious. As I continue to explore, I find a stage where performances are happening. There are traditional dances from countries like Spain, China, and Brazil. I am amazed by the variety and beauty of these performances. I clap and cheer along with the crowd, feeling a part of this global community. I then join a workshop on African drumming. The workshop is conducted in English, and the instructor is patient and clear in his instructions. I learn about the different drums and rhythms. Playing the drums in a group is exhilarating, and I manage to follow along without much difficulty. After the workshop, I thank the instructor in English, feeling proud of myself for participating and understanding the instructions. Throughout the day, I speak English with many people. I ask questions about their cultures, share stories about Italy, and exchange smiles and laughter. 
I realize that language is more than just words. It's about connection and understanding.